I've made clear how woefully incomplete this process has been, how the minority's rights to a hearing has been completely disregarded, how no fact witnesses were called before us, and how staff questioning staff to get the truth was bizarre. No matter what any member on this side says here tonight, the majority will unanimously vote to send these articles of impeachment to the House floor. However, I have a duty to continue to point out how flawed this process has been. All members of Congress are required to take an oath of office at the beginning of every Congress. By taking this oath, we swear above all else to defend the Constitution of the United States. I have the distinct honor to represent the hardworking people of Southeast Alabama. They have placed their trust in me to represent their values and be their voice here in Congress. This revered and long-standing oath serves as a guiding principle for every decision I make as a member of Congress. For the record, let me be clear. I believe in the rule of law. I believe that no person is above the law. I believe process is vital to this very institution. I've stated time and time again before this committee, process matters. Without abiding by a framework that adheres to our Constitution, we are charting a course that does not follow our country's founding principles. Whether you identify as a Republican, a Democrat, or Independent, whether you agree or disagree with the President's policies, whether you like or even dislike a President, the American people should feel cheated by what has taken place here. We sit here tonight without all the facts of the case because the majority decided to conduct an incomplete and inadequate pursuit of the truth. Many questions remain. With the consequential decision of impeaching a president, it is our right and duty to the citizens of this country to properly use the powers of congressional oversight to adjudicate impasses through the courts and arrive at actual undisputed facts of a case that all Americans, regardless of ideology, can agree are truthful and honest. In, impeachment proceedings of, in the impeachment proceedings of President Nixon, the underlying facts were undisputed. In the impeachment proceedings uh, of President Clinton, the underlying facts were also undisputed. Here before us tonight, that is not the case. The articles of impeachment before us in this committee do not meet the necessary requirements, nor have they followed an exhaustive pursuit to even find out all of the facts of the case. Therefore, the bar to impeach a sitting president of the United States has not been met.